Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hannah. I'm George. And we are here at Soul Ballroom in Las Cruces, New Mexico. We are in process of our 40 in 40, and that means 40 basic steps. In 40 dances. In 40 days. Today's dance is known as the Balboa. The Balboa actually began in the 1920s in California. It was actually named after the Balboa Peninsula. And well, some people say that it came from Charleston. Others say it came from the Foxtrot. But what we know is that the traditional Balboa is danced to that big band era music and was always danced in a very close embrace. Some people said that it was because it was so crowded in these different locations, right, that they had to kind of stay into that position. Now, this pattern is going to be nice and simple, but the rhythm is super fun. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. So we're gonna actually be doing this uh, with our backs facing you. So ladies, followers, you're gonna be following me and George is going to be doing the leader's part. So generally guys, but not always, you're gonna be following George. We're gonna actually switch sides on this here real quick. So first of all, the rhythm of this dance is going to go one, two, we're gonna hold three, step four. Then we're gonna go five, six, hold seven, step eight. So we'll march that through just a little bit for starters. So I have my right foot free, George has his left foot free. We're gonna start with a little rock step. So it goes one, two, we're gonna hold three, we're gonna step four, then we're going to uh, march five, six, hold seven, step eight. Let's do that a bunch of times just to get the rhythm and then we'll learn the patterns. So we have one, two, hold three, step four, five, six, hold seven, step eight. One, two, hold three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now here's how this dance is going to get put together. Anytime that we're doing the, uh, the past the rock step, these Steps are going to be traveling either forward or backwards. Now, in order to demonstrate this, we're going to actually switch sides again so you can most easily see. And we're going to be both starting with a rock step. Now, normally we would go into a very close embrace here, but we're going to do this just facing each other for today. We start with our rock step, and we go rock step. Notice there's that little tiny bit of turnout. Now, at this moment, this is where our hold comes in. We're going to hold, and the leader is going to actually start to move straight through us three, and we step four. So notice we're already progressing. We're going to continue in the same direction of this movement for the five, six. So we go five, six, and now here, as we do our next hold on the seven, we're going to start to transition the other way. Seven, eight. So now, once again, at this moment, we're going to continue to move. So no more rock steps. We only use the rock step at the beginning. All right, so now we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is known as the very traditional Balboa. One thing that you should know about it is that um, as the swing dancers kind of got a hold of it, they started to add in a bunch of underarm turns and things like that. So it kind of became known as the Balboa swing, right? Traditionally, we never come out of a close embrace in this dance. So, cuddle on up, let's put some music on, and uh, we'll give this a try. It's gonna be a little bit fast. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was excellent. Put on some swing music and uh, practice your Balboa. Have a great day.